What's up, Harris Gang? What it do, Harris Gang? It's your girl Coco. Your boy, baby Five, is not in the back today. Five is upstairs with my mom, you guys. Look, y'all. Look at the look at the nails, y'all. I'm back. I'm back, y'all. My hair ain't done, but I'm back, and I'm gonna put some eyelashes on, and I'm gonna do myself a little bun because I can't get into my beautician chair to the end of the month y'all but before we get into this video make sure y'all like comment subscribe make sure y'all hitting that bell and make sure y'all writing danielle y'all y'all gotta make sure y'all writing danielle y'all keep me going all the encouraging comments that y'all write underneath the posts under my pictures the dms and everything you guys write her the same thing even if y'all type it even if it's two sentences y'all she appreciates those all right y'all so it is thursday which is talk to us thursday this video probably gonna drop friday or saturday y'all um right now i'm screaming y'all because i'm in a good mood because i'm feeling better y'all we are on our way to pick our clothes up from fluff and fold y'all my mama want me to go to the grocery store to get some bacon because she said that i got fake bacon so y'all know we don't eat pork so we got turkey bacon and it's not fake bacon y'all oh my face is looking good it's not fake bacon though y'all so i gotta go get her some bacon because she don't want to eat the turkey bacon that i already have because as y'all know i just want grocery shop and then after that, I have to go get five this, like, bucket so he can sit in because we're doing a do-it-your-own. Oh, I'm ashy. Hold on, hold on. Tell me if y'all got one of these. It's a cocoa butter um, all-purpose stick, y'all, and my face is dry, so I'm just going like this. Hold on. Because my face is dry. All right. Let me see. Okay. Okay, let me put some on my lips. <laughs> y'all, I'm going to get myself together, y'all. I love the encouraging comments that y'all write. Y'all be like, you're a mom. Yes, I am. And moms are not cute all the time. But, um, yeah, y'all, so like I was saying, Five is doing this at-home photo shoot. It's a surprise, y'all. It's a surprise prize, prize. Um, So I got to go get this bucket for him, y'all. And that's it. And then we're going to hop straight into Talk to Us Thursday. Y'all already know, y'all. Um, I'm feeling so much better. The only thing is when I wake up, I'm congested. But it make me feel like when I was pregnant, I used to wake up and I used to always be congested. I ain't pregnant, but I just can't wait for that to leave. Five is feeling better. I took him off of his steroid medicine, so he's just taking his allergy medicine once a day. So we doing good, y'all. And oh my gosh, y'all, I got to tell y'all something that I did. And y'all comment down below if y'all feel like I should have did it or I shouldn't have did it. And we going to go from there. Okay, first of all, I got to go to the actual bank because I got my little nails back and I can't, I don't even have my puller. I got to get me one from the 99, so y'all remind me. But all right, y'all, so I had a, okay, me and Danielle agreed on not getting five on iPad until he was around two or three. So basically, when she come home, she was going to get the iPad because hopefully she's home before he's like two or when he's turning two or a little bit after he turns two, y'all. So... I had an old iPad that I had, like, I want to say two to three years ago or whatever. But it's a cool generation. Like, it's not the thick one. It's the skinny one or whatever. And it was broke. The screen was broke and the charger port was broke. My nephew, he tore it up. So, yesterday I was at the mall and I took it to just see how much they will charge me to fix it. They told me that they will only charge me $150. So, I got it fixed. So, I got it fixed and I bought a little... Um, Daniel's mom said, oh, he's going to need a, a look like a kid-proof case. So I got him a kid-proof case. And, um, okay, when we go out and stuff like that, for example, like when I go eat, five don't eat. But, you know, me and him, we go out a lot. Like, I let him use my phone to watch his little kid's sensory. So I'm like, I'm going to let him use the tablet, the iPad, when we go, like, to places like that, like, just to calm him down. Because, I mean, he don't be hyped up, but five be throwing his toys. Like, he be having the time of his life because we are always in the house. So y'all comment down below about what y'all think about kids with tablets. He is still young, so maybe I might just keep it till he turns one. His birthday is in May. So I don't know. Y'all give me your honest opinion down below because I'm just turning 22 right now. And y'all, I'm almost to the bank, so I'm going to get off the phone right now because I don't need no cop pulling me over thinking I'm talking on the phone already. I'm vlogging. And I'm happy I got my nails back. Could y'all tell? Um, yeah, but today I'm going to do my hair, y'all. My dream car pulling up on the side with me. But I don't want to show y'all because I just want to bust out because you go. You got to do stuff inside us and then you don't. Yeah. All right, y'all. So, anyway, I'm on my way to the bank and then I'll be back when we go to Fluff and Fold, the grocery store in the 99. So, stay tuned. Y'all, we here at the bank. <clears throat> oh, hold up. We here at the bank, y'all. So, I'm going to get the money for Fluff and Fold out right now. I like coming to the bank because... I just could tap my card. 
that cocoa butter got me the correct. I parked too far from the teller, y'all. So let me get in here. I wonder what time the 99 cent store opened. Y'all. I miss y'all so much. What? Oh. I'm like, it's looking like. Why did I do that? I just did something so stupid. So I'm only gonna take a hundred dollars out because if the clothes cost more than a hundred dollars, they could keep it. No, I'm just playing. I didn't have that many. Um, I didn't have that many um, loads. Really, it was five clothes, but five. He changed clothes a lot because he be crawling all over the floor, and we have like wooden floors. So no matter how many times I mop that floor. That floor, floor still seems to be filthy. I could not wait to move. A lot of people prefer um, wooden floor. I want carpet. Like, I want carpet. Mopping every day is just a lot for me. But yeah, y'all. So now we're going to head to the 99 cent store. My mama told me not to take a long time because she's hungry. But I need to go to the 99 cent store without five. So stay tuned, y'all. Because they be playing music in the 99 cent store, but I want y'all to like see the buckets. Hopefully they got buckets. The 99 cent store be having everything, so we finna see. Hopefully they got a big enough bucket that five could go in, cause y'all know my boy a little big. But all right, y'all. Say to y'all. Of course they was playing music in there, so of course I couldn't even vlog. But they didn't even have the type of bucket I was looking for, y'all. So I gotta go to a different store. But I'm gonna handle everything first. But let me show y'all. So y'all know I got this little thing on the car, on Danielle's car. She would be so mad if she was home, but. Look what I bought, y'all. I just love the 99 cent store because this at AutoZone would have been a lot of money. So we finna put it together, together. Hold on, y'all. Y'all can see me. Y'all, and I bought a new tripod. Of I All right, y'all. Let me just keep it like that for a sec. And I bought a new tripod up out of there because five, I don't know what he did with it, but it's gone. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to get this on without breaking my little nail. Hold on. Usually, Danielle will help me put it on. I miss my wife. But, hold on, y'all. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I might have to have my mama put it on for me. She going to be struggling, too, y'all. My mom is 59, y'all. She thinks she's 25, though. Ooh, okay, I got it on. Let me, but it's crooked, though. It's not, oh, my gosh. Okay, hold on. Okay, I got to, okay, I got to take it off and put it on the right way. Because that's going to throw me off. That go out the bottom. All right. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. <sighs> All right, all right. Ugh. Ow. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Y'all, it's on. Let me let y'all see what's cracking off. It's on. The 99 is the goal. And then, y'all, I got these. It come in for the seatbelt, so I'm going to put that on in a second. I got these for St. Patty's Day, y'all, for me and five. And I got these for me when five is on 99 glasses and boom a tripod and i'm gonna hook this up so y'all can see oh want to see y'all can't even see me i'm gonna hook it up all right y'all i'm gonna hook this up and i'm gonna go to fluff and fold so stay hey, tuned gang so <clears throat> i'm at the fluff and fold place y'all so i'm just waiting for my stuff he finna weigh it y'all so i'm gonna try to get him weighing it i look so crazy but my stuff is finna be ready thank god I know y'all be like, why don't she just fold? I can't. <clears throat> I could wash, but I can't fold. I'd be so tired and exhausted. And then I got a toddler, so he be moving around. So, yeah. But I had a basket and two bags. And then that's the wear on the floor. So, we're going to see. Hopefully, it's not that much money. We're about to see, y'all. We're going to see. He put it on there. We're going to see. Mm -hmm. We see it. He weighing them. I'm gonna let y'all see. Look at all my baskets. That's how they do it here, y'all. 
So we're gonna see y'all. And I'm gonna tell y'all how much it is. And I went, <clears throat> we got this like drive through market by our house. I went through there and just bought some bacon. My mama gonna be mad that I didn't get no um, biscuits, but we have croissants at home, so. We're gonna see. $54, y'all, stay tuned. Uh -huh. Oh, $51? Uh, you can pay me uh, $45. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm going to stop saying excuse me because y'all said it's cool because I'm a mom. Yeah, so we have Michael's. And I'm determined because this, i seen a little girl or a little boy. I think it was twins. A little girl and a little boy. They mom did it on TikTok, and I'm like, this is my favorite holiday. This is the first year like I really didn't celebrate it because you know Danielle not here. We usually go have a green beer together. And oh, they not playing music. Great. Oh, they are playing music, y'all. So I gotta be back, but just stay tuned. All right, y'all. So I got, as y'all see, I put my little things up in Danielle's car. Um, so I couldn't find the tub that I wanted, and they kept telling me to go to Hobby Lobby, but that's too many stops for me. So I got this little tub, y'all. Hopefully five can fit in there, but y'all just stay tuned because it's gonna be a little cute photo shoot. I might do it today. I'll be so excited. I can't wait to the day of St. Patrick's Day. How many days is it? I'm probably gonna post them today though. I don't know y'all, but stay tuned y'all. So now we finna go home and we gonna do the um, Talk to Us Thursday video, y'all. So we haven't did one of these little daily vlogs in a while because we've been like just in the house quarantining and stuff. Um, but yeah, y'all, so just stay tuned. Comment down below if I was too young to go to the beach. If y'all think he's too young to go to the beach, of course, he's not gonna be like playing in the sand. But I don't, I didn't really like the beach as a kid, but I don't want to keep that from him because of me. But I asked Danielle what she thinks, so I'm just waiting for her to write me back. And yeah, y'all, so just stay tuned. All right, here's gang. So we back, we back, we back. And as y'all see, I put my eyelashes on. I haven't did my hair, but I'm gonna do my hair on TikTok. So y'all stay tuned, y'all. Hold on, we in five room. I bought another tripod, but I didn't buy, hold on. I bought another like sit up tripod, but I did not buy the big tripod. We are gonna go today though. So like, let's get into this video. I'm in five room, cause five sleep y'all, so. Okay. <clears throat> Let me get into this. Mm, we back, we back, we back. And y'all, it's the next day, it's Saturday. I know y'all could tell, but I'm gonna post this video, y'all. I just, you know, I was just trying to get back to my groove, get back to myself. And y'all, the time changed. Time really changed. Okay. Mm. Hold on, y'all, because I'm having a hard time, y'all, trying to find it. Okay. All right, y'all, we about to get straight into the little talk to us. Thursday, but it's going to post a little late, but it's cool. It say, girl, how much is gas out there? I know y'all got to be paying an arm and leg. It's $4.40 out here. Y'all, gas right now is like $5.60, $5.75, and $6.00. And with gas being that high, usually I, I was just telling my mom, like, I don't really look at the gas prices or whatever. But I've been looking lately, and I'm like, oh, we just going to be in the house. We don't really go anywhere anyway. But, like, what about those people that can't afford gas? Like, you know, I don't know. It's crazy. My mom was telling me um, that, like, around the pandemic, it was like $3 or something. I never really pay attention to gas prices. So, I'm like, dang, that's crazy that gas really went up like that. It says, how would you feel if your ex's mom was talking about you and your baby, saying that girl and that baby when you was helping her, taking her places? Definitely feel some type of way about it because I helped her when heroin, heroin didn't want to. I'm sorry, y'all. My girls are learning. <clears throat> um, that's a good question right there. I will be very, very, very bothered if um my ex mom was excuse me y'all if my ex mom y'all see like in the morning how my nose be watering and then my throat all sound weird but we don't we ain't sick 
Um, I would be really irritated if my ex's mom kept me and my child in her mouth, especially my child. Like, okay, like you could have me in your mouth, but don't put my baby in your mouth. I just feel like no matter what people go through, arguing with females, moms, <coughs> aunties, grannies, anybody, you never supposed to put like the baby in it. Like that just bothers me. But you know, in a situation like that, now the new me, like I just say, like, just pray for her because clearly somewhere in her life right now, like, she not happy within herself. And girl, it's your ex. So how you find out about that? See? But I'm just saying, like, you know, like, all you could do is just really pray for her. Don't even stoop to her level because obviously she's mad about something. She's probably mad that you moved on and had a baby. Or if you do got a baby with, with your ex... That she's just mad, you know. People just be mad, girl. And when people mad, you really can't, really can't do nothing. You just gotta be the bigger person. Um, it said, "Hey, Coco, I love you and Baby Five. Hey, girl. Oh, just a little update, y'all. I did that photo shoot with the tub and stuff, y'all. But it's not St. Patrick's Day yet, so I can't show y'all. But I want to show y'all a sneak peek. But I'm not gonna show y'all sneak peek because if I show y'all sneak peek, that's the whole." photo shoot basically so a couple more days mm, it says i love y'all when is danielle coming home i missed it i love y'all too so i say it one more time because y'all always be like well maybe we got you it's new people waxing so her release date is 2024 but everybody know in the state of california you know you work you go to school and now her time is supposed to change again i think probably in a couple of months but once she goes to, I can't really talk about it, but once she finished her little programs and stuff, we're praying that it's like the end of 23, maybe beginning of 23. That's just wishful thinking, y'all. Just give me y'all prayers. In my mind, she's coming home tomorrow. Um, It says, it says, would you get a BBL? I love Coco. Oh, okay. So I want to talk about this. So I don't know if y'all paid attention on TikTok or if I used to pay attention to us. So um i was supposed to get my body done like that was gonna be my push gift and then i was like well what's the point of me getting my body done if i'm gonna have more kids like i honestly honestly just want my stomach to be flat and i just want some hips and a little bit of butt like i don't want too much like i still want to have the like petite body like but i loved like the bbls but be but i want my titties like I, i'm sorry yeah i want my breasts really big though but I will get the BBL, but, like, after I have my kids, like, I, nowadays, like, in L.A., a lot of people, like, they went and got their body done, they went and got their teeth done, but I got to do it in order, so I'm supposed to be, I'm working on getting my teeth fixed now, so I'm getting my teeth fixed, and then if I don't like how my teeth look, I'm going to get my veneers, and then I'm going to work on my body, but obviously, I can't work on my body until after I have my other kids, at least one or two more kids. I already want, like, four or five more kids, but... My little private gonna probably be tired, but I will get a BBL. I don't knock nobody for fixing anybody out to their liking. Hold on, y'all. Let me check on five. All right, y'all. He back. I mean, well, I'm back. He okay. Um, it says, Hey, Coco, I hope you're doing well. Do you have any plans for five? Baby Five's first birthday. Yes, yes, yes. So I finally figured out what I'm doing for Baby Five's first birthday. I can't say it. Well, I could say it, but I'm not going to say it. It's, it's going to be like real small and intimate, but it's going to be at a nice, fun, full place. Um, some people might think it ain't for kids. Some people might think it's for kids, but I know my kid and I know he will like this. So this is why I chose this because at first I was taking him to this. I can tell y'all now. So y'all know I want him to like Elmo, y'all. Let me show you his, show y'all his backpack. Y'all know I want him to like Elmo, so I was going to take him to this um, Sesame Street theme park that just opened in March um, in San Diego, California. I don't know if y'all been seeing it on Instagram because that's how I seen it. And then Dan was all like, he like, you know, don't take him that. He's not going to remember blase, blase. And really, he not. He's still not old enough to get on the rise or anything. So I said, okay. So then I was like, oh, I'm going to take him to the zoo. Then like, he ain't going to know none of them animals or nothing like that. So we finally figured out a place to take him, and we know he's going to like it, and it's cool. Like, you know, and then we'll invite a few of his cousins, because he has a lot of cousins, like, on Danielle's dad's side, on her mom's side. And then my family is very small, but I have, like, a lot of friends that have kids. So I can't wait. I'm going to vlog that whole day. So we celebrated his birthday, y'all. We celebrated his birthday the 19th and the 20th um, with, like, friends and family which is gonna be very small and then on saturday me and him going out to dinner like he gonna be my date so yeah saturday we going to dinner i haven't found the dinner place but if y'all in california y'all know some kid friendly 
nice like upscale restaurants let me know they don't gotta be so upscale but something nice like not like um buffet style food no because they cook that food too fast but yeah um it says what plans do you have as a family when your wife come home any trips or occasions we have trips in style i'm um, in style we have trips <coughs> but the first trip we're taking when daniel come home is we're going to hawaii we're supposed to go there like for our like honeymoon anniversary like not our anniversary but like our our first year our second year or whatever y'all know we've been married for two years um well we almost been married for two years now we're supposed to go to hawaii for our anniversary or whatever but i was pregnant for one and then she went to jail so our first trip we're gonna go on is hawaii hopefully the world is okay and everything but i have like a friend or something like i have a couple of friends that said they went to hawaii and they said that it was just terrible like the people there are mean and but then i have other people that i see on youtube i mean not youtube on instagram that went to hawaii and they was having the time of their life so i don't know i guess it just depends who y'all did y'all see my nails? I guess it just depends on the person, y'all. Oh. Oh. This is a glass case, y'all. And it, I just got glass stuck in my hand. Hold on. This Hold on, y'all. Y'all know this phone is brand new. But I dropped this last night. Ow. Oh. So, I hope that it didn't crack. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Thank God. But this shattered, though. Somebody on here made me this. Shout out to her, but it just broke. So, But, y'all, look. I have to get a new phone. Apple looked out. All right, back to it. It say, what do you think, what do you think I should do to cope? So me to cope, um, like, okay, in my case, like if I didn't have a newborn, well, he not a newborn, but almost a toddler. If I didn't have a little baby, the nail shop would be my coping ground. Like drinking would be my coping ground. But since I do, how I, what I do to cope is <clears throat> like I read like I read or like don't judge me y'all but I watch Disney Channel I try to do anything that makes me just not have negative and bad thoughts because you know like the world is hard like it's scary out here like so me being older over 25 y'all I ain't telling y'all how old I am me being older y'all um I find it easier for me to watch like happy shows and when I say happy shows I mean like kids shows like i like harry potter i like twilight like i don't watch like stuff like and don't have don't hate me don't come for me in the comment shop but i don't watch stuff like menace to society i don't watch stuff like um snowfall or um i don't watch none of like the black urban shows that's out now because i feel like they have a lot of violence and violence make me have bad dreams like i don't watch movies is my eyelashes tripping i don't watch movies with like cursing i mean cursing yes i don't watch movies with like shooting and robbing and i don't like that type of stuff so i find that it's easier for me to cope when i watch like happy things if i'm not in the mood to read so yeah so i would say for you like if you like to read you should read or if you don't like to read i like to get read too so i'll do the audio book um but if, even if that like if just walk like walk around the park or something like you know um or watch disney plus girl that's what i do Okay, hold on. I'm trying to answer these questions in a timely manner because somebody said that I should. Mm, it says, my girlfriend broke up with me and I really love her. I'm not doing so well with the coping. Oh, see, I didn't read this message before that. I know, like, going through a breakup is hard because, like, just going through everything that me and Danielle went through before, like, we got here was hard. And honestly... <laughs> I was just watching happy shows when I would go through, like, Danielle cheating and stuff. I wasn't eating, though. Like, I wasn't sleeping. It was so hard for me. So, I would take melatonin. So, I'm not telling you to take melatonin. But at night time, I feel like if you don't got no kids or nothing, like, take some melatonin at, like, 730. At least your mind will be at peace. And then you wake up, you're going to be thinking again. That's just normal. But eventually, with time, it will pass. But um, I always used to pay, pray for strength. And for him to just give me the power, like the strength and the power just to like, you know, pull myself together like as a woman. So if you're spiritual, go ahead and pray, girl, because I promise you it'll work. 
it says when wrong eyelashes do you put on what do you put them close together to your eyes or you space them out with her not irritated when they're not irritated still learning to do love the tutorial we did on eyelashes i like that y'all like the tutorial that i did on eyelashes because when i did it somebody had commented like why would you? i'm mad because you did the eyelash video and then rushed to talk to us thursday so i won't do that again but okay so this is how i do it um i put the glue on there and i put the first base lash on the bottom i mean on my on the top of my lashes like i don't put them under and lift them up because i don't have that many eyelashes from me getting fake eyelashes in the past and then on top of that after i'm done with that set i get another one and i put the glue on the top and i put that lash on top of the 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 base lash so i put all my stuff together and then you got to do this with them i'll do a better video though girl um how are you doing mentally mentally y'all like i'm okay like i am okay like i feel better the car is fixed i got a new phone <laughs> i've been talking to Danielle, so i'm doing okay so from on a scale from what the 10 10 being the worst i think i'm at like a four like i'm fine but at the end of the day like i am still coping like the girl said like i'm sad here and there but five really keep me woke i'll uh, keep me going like i woke up this morning like dang you still sleep hurry up and wake up like i'm bored but he sleep though um it says Love from St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Grenad I think I said it right. Hey, girl. It said, hey, beautiful. Not a question. I just want to let you know that you're doing a great job and you are so strong. Thank you so much. I'm trying, y'all. It's hard, but, I mean, it's it's people that's probably going through way worse stuff than just their... Excuse me. Just their significant other being away, so... It says, do you believe in deja vu? I do believe in deja vu. <laughs> But, I don't know. Do y'all believe in deja vu? Comment down below if y'all believe in deja vu. It say, if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? If I could change one thing about myself, I don't know what it would be. Because I just feel like God just made me how he wanted him to make me. But if I could change, like, a personal thing about myself, I would change. I would have ass. I'm sorry. Because, like, I can't think of nothing but... Um, when Danielle was home, I used to nag. Not nag, but, like, I'm clingy. So, I would change that if she was home, but since she's away right now. Um, what's the what's the romantic thing you guys ever done for each other? I feel like this is real romantic. So, when Danielle was on house arrest, y'all know she was on house arrest for almost two years. So, we was always in the house. Um, and it was one Valentine's Day. It was last Valentine's Day. I was pregnant. She couldn't go outside really that day because, you know, it was a Valentine's Day. It wasn't, like, a holiday like that. So we both you we use the same Amazon account. So we did um we did a box giveaway. So we ordered real cute um Valentine's Day boxes. As a matter of fact, we got them from Michaels. And like we ordered little things like like that. Like for example, like up in my box, then you'll put peach Jolly Ranchers, like just little things I like. She put socks, she got me a Pandora bracelet. And then in her box, I got her um, the Post Malone Cox. I got her some score candies, the small ones. I got her, what else did I get her? Dang, it was some other stuff. I got her some some Savage Fenty briefs. I got her these little plastic pills. And inside, there are notes. And you write on them. So we was going to do date night. We never got to do it yet, but we will. Like, that was the most romantic thing because we plan to spend under $50 but her Crocs was more than $100 but less than I mean $50 or under and it was just thoughtful because you only have $50 and you have to make everything fit in this little box so I feel like that was the most romantic thing we ever did you know because nowadays people be doing it up and it's always good to try to show your loved one that you love them without having to please them with like a lot of money and shower them in like expensive gifts it says, if you and wifey was trapped in a desert island, what's five things you would bring? Y'all finna laugh because me and Dale we asked each other this before. Y'all, my phone died. I mean, yeah, my phone died. And my camera was dead. So now I'm on our work phone, y'all. I don't know why these don't be charged. But all right, back to where I was. So if I could bring five things <clears throat> to a desert... It will have to be where is that question okay y'all gonna laugh because me and danielle did this before so i would bring a house fully stocked house with water <laughs> well the house come with water and stuff um i would bring a yacht um i will bring food mm, a phone 
so we can get out of there in a jet. I can't be stuck on no desert, y'all. <laughs> All right. Um, it says, what would you guys be doing right now if wifey was home? We will probably be like in Texas or something looking for like a like a little like apartment or a house. We said we wasn't going to rush into buying a house when she came home, but we will probably be looking for a house because now five is a different place to live because five is old enough now. Our main thing was we didn't want to move him from home to home, but we've been here for a while. He's very familiar with it. So now, you know, it say, huh? Hey, Coco, what's your love language? Hey, hi, baby, five, free Danielle. I'm a giver, like, so, like, whatever I could do to give Danielle to make her happy or just, you know, brighten her mood or just anything, I would do. Like, I would give that girl my last. Like, you know what I mean? So, for example, Danielle crashed her car. Danielle crashes all her cars. And she didn't have a car for a few months. And really, it really didn't matter. She really didn't need a car because we couldn't go anywhere. But I had a car. So, I didn't buy her a car cash, but I purchased her a car, basically. I put a down payment down. And it fucking sucks. Sorry for cursing, y'all, because... She ended up going to jail. Now I'm stuck with the car. And I don't want that car because it's a man car. So now I got to wait. So when she come home, basically that car is going to be paid off. And well, it's almost paid off. And we both going to get new cars. But my love language is I'm a giver. And I'm a lover too. So from Issa, can you show us pictures from when you and Danielle first got together? I will post them on Instagram, y'all. So stay tuned for that it's say what is something you dislike and like uh like about yourself what i dislike about myself is i feel like my lips is very big i feel like i don't like my skin complexion like i got um freckles but they kind of look like blemishes so they give off dirty um and i like my lips and I like my hair because, like, my hair could fall out and it grow right back. A lot of people be having trouble with getting their hair grow to grow. And I use this special oil. I told y'all I'm going to bring it out if y'all want it. But y'all got to mess with me, though. Y'all got to mess with me. What songs remind you of Danielle? Right now, my ultimate, my all-time favorite song is Letter from Houston. Um, it reminds me of Danielle. She just recently told me to listen to some songs. She told me to listen to Lil Durk and Kodak. Um, it's a song by Lil Durk and Kodak. And then it's this song by Young Blue called Ashley's Song. So, yeah. It said, do you still get waxes? I don't get waxes no more. I just nair because it's no point in me getting waxes because I'm not sexually active. Like, you know, I'm celibate, so I'm waiting for my wife. So, I don't get waxes no more, y'all. Not right now. It said, what's your dream vacation? Y'all, my dream vacation, and I don't even know. I pray me one day, me and Danielle go there. It's, I want to go to Iceland. It's so pretty there. I think I've seen Kim Kardashian there, and I want to go. Um, it say, how long did it take you to get sexual with Danielle, and how long did you make her wait? Girl, <laughs> I probably made her wait um, like a month or two. It was more than 30 days, though. That was the whole go. Um, besides Coke, what's your favorite drink? That's how I know you be tuned in because you know I like Coke. Um... I, I drink water, so but water is not one of my favorite drinks. I like the vitamin water. Um, I like the dragon fruit. It's purple, but not the zero the zero um calories though, the regular one. And then on top of that, I like orange soda. Um, it say what soap do you use on baby five? I was about to show y'all, but I use a vino. Um, I I use the vino eczema <clears throat> wash and a lotion. He doesn't have eczema, but I just use it because I know it's for sensitive skin. <sighs> Favorite weird com food combination, chili cheese fries, pickles, and onions. I still eat that. People thought because I was pregnant, I was eating it. No, I was eating it because that's what I really wanted to eat. Try it, y'all. Bomb. Raw onions, not grilled. Um, it said, do you think YouTube changed you? Um, No, I don't think YouTube changed me. Um, I'm very, like, regular. Like, I see people and they're, they're so shocked that I'm just so normal, I guess. I don't know, but I know what you mean when you say that YouTube could have changed you. Five up, but he was my mom, so I'm fine. Um, but yeah, I don't think YouTube changed me. Do y'all feel like YouTube changed me? I mean, I, I, I come to y'all raw and uncut because it's just like, how do I expect y'all to like want to watch me and just get to know me if I'm sitting up here lying about everything? I mean, some YouTubers, I won't say they be lying, but some YouTubers, they don't, they won't just get up like how I be getting up. Like, but I know when I get dressed, I dress. But when I look like a bum, I look like a bum and I feel like that's fine. That's okay to me. So I don't know. Um... Do you know how to dance? I don't know how to dance. I don't even got rhythm, y'all. 
it said it's hard being a new mom is it hard being a new mom um it's not hard being a new mom it's just like adapting to like anything new like when you get long nails you gotta learn how to redo stuff like you know so i just feel like um danielle leaving and me being able to like figure out how to be a mom by myself it's not a good thing but it just helped me mature a lot because when danielle was here when we first had five you know she was here till he was like three months she was really hands-on so i still really didn't have to do much like danielle always wanted to be a mom so like she was infatuated with the thought of being a mom um it says what's something you did bad as a child i used to steal y'all candy chips my mama used to beat my ass too it say do your family get along with your wife yes my family get along with my wife <clears throat> but even if they did it i would choose my wife but yeah they get along though it's always my wife i know y'all probably gonna be like wow but yeah y'all here five so this video gotta come to it and y'all uh, um it says how is danielle ment doing mentally honestly right now danielle is doing mentally fine like she's fine she's happy it's just the same thing. She just ready to go, but she had to stand still. So, I mean, you know, but her, she's doing better. So, as long as she's better, I'm fine. We talk every day, all day. Um, it says, are you interested in being mommy friends since we're both in L.A.? Definitely. Just DM me, email me. I do respond. So, yes, definitely. Because I don't have really have mommy friends. Mm, what is your self-care day consist of? So, self-care day will be like, first of all, giving myself a facial. Going to get my eyebrows threaded. Going to the nail shop, getting my feet done, going to take myself to have some drinks, and then just coming home. Maybe do a little shopping. And when I say shopping, I don't be buying like two to three things. I don't be like shopping, shopping. Like, I hate spending money. I'm one of the cheapest people in the world. I just be trying to save money. Like, I don't know. Um, it says, what's 5e night routine? I will do a video with that, y'all. But basically, bed, bottle, bed. I mean, bed, bottle, I'm. Um, be Bath, bottle, bed, yeah. How many teeth does baby five have? He has three teeth. One is coming in right here. That's the third teeth at the bottom. Um, what does it say? Hey, Coco, I love you and the family. Want to know how you deal with being in your feelings but your, about your wife. I'm not having problems, but I feel as if I express myself too much. You never can express yourself too much because you never want to keep stuff bottled in. If you keep stuff bottled in, then it'll drive you crazy. So it's good that you express yourself too much. But if you are feeling like you express yourself too much, I said this, this before. If you like to write, write it down. But if you don't, just type it in your notes. And then it just feel like, like a burden was left, lifted off of your shoulder. Um, It says, are you planning a welcome home party for Danielle or a dinner? I'm not planning a welcome home party or a dinner for Danielle. I'm planning a trip for Danielle because as soon as she come home and after she see whoever she got to see court-wise, we're out of here. Um, it says, any update from Danielle? I'm a married mom, yet a single mom. Um, and I know the struggle praying for you both. Thank you so much. And the update from Danielle is, y'all know she's supposed to be transferred to her last prison or whatever. But right now, since the prison, they have an outbreak. So her her title still says in status because she's being held at a different one so it's like when you fly you get a layover she basically on her layover but her layover could be for a month or two months so so far it's been 30 days this 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 i can't even say a pandemic because the world is open but this coronavirus stuff is really real especially when it comes to people being incarcerated because like you know they can't go anywhere so they're not the one they're spreading it but they're not the one catching it like you know i feel like the guards are catching it and giving it away but whatever you know that's just my own personal theory but yeah that's the update so she basically still is in transit being held at her prison at her little layover airport y'all and then she's gonna go to her main prison and then she's gonna be completely fine she has started school but she had to drop out which is so annoying because they transferred her but other than that danielle is doing good she got her property y'all she doing good, y'all. So as long as she doing good, y'all know I'm doing good. I hope y'all really enjoyed this video because this video was really, really, really long, y'all. Um, five is up and it seemed like he giving my mom a hard time. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I love y'all Harris gang. Baby five love y'all. And I checked the P.O. Box. Y'all need to write us. 1920 Pacific Avenue, P.O. Box 16173, Long Beach, California, 90806, period. All right, write us, y'all. We out of here. What's love? It's about us. It's about trust. What's love? Got to do.